Hey guys, Build a Burger Eater here. Um, and I'd like to talk today about alkaline water. So, nowadays, there's lots of information out there about unhealthy foods. There's people really paying attention to the epidemic of cancer and diabetes and obesity. And it's becoming a real problem to the point that uh, the U.S. only recently fell from the, I guess, notorious position of number one on most obese uh, country. And it's fell, fallen to number two, <laughs> overtaken by Mexico. So, this is very unfortunate, it's, and people are starting to pay more attention to their health. So there's all these new markets emerging. There's uh, bigger demands for organic food, uh, pure water, water filtration systems. And uh, one of these products that has come in the midst of all this is alkaline water. Uh, it's important to take care of your body, to take care of yourself. Uh, it, it, you'll live longer. You'll feel better, have more energy, and um, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ and a follower of him, uh, as a believer, you are supposed to take care of your body. Uh, in fact, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 19, and I'm going to read from my new, uh, new International Version, says, uh, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? Are You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. So there's, there's scientific reasons, there's uh, spiritual reasons, all to take care of yourself. So I'm making this video in order to help you take care of yourself, in order to avoid the pitfalls that others have made. Uh, not myself, but uh, there are people who are spending thousands of dollars on this alkaline water. And um, they need to really ask themselves, is there science behind this, or is this a scam? And I'm going to talk to you about some basic scientific principles that prove that alkaline water is a scam. So, it's important to understand what a pH is. Now, they teach this to you in high school in chemistry. They should have taught this to you, at least in biology or some sort of science course. They teach you about pH levels. Um, the more acidic some a substance is, the lower its pH. So acidic substances have pH levels uh, measured between 0 and 7. A examples of an acidic substance would be um, battery acid, which is very acidic, and orange juice, which is also pretty acidic, but less than battery acid. Um, and there are alkaline substances, which are the other side. They have a pH greater than 7 and, and uh, up to 14. Uh, so examples of this would be lye, which is very acidic. Uh, or, I'm sorry, very alkaline. Basically, the way water ionizers work, which is what you have to buy to make your own alkaline water, is it uses a simple process called electrolysis. Uh, this was discovered in 1832 to produce an altered solution. So basically you have two oppositely charged electrodes. Um, they're usually made of platinum. Uh, there are positive ions naturally in the water and they are attracted to the negative electrode. when there's a electrical current. They, when they arrive, they acquire negatively charged electrons or hydroxyl ions. 
uh, this process releases, releases hydrogen gas, the negative ions are attracted to the other positive electrode and they give up an electron uh, this lowers the pH level of that half of the water and um, this so-called acid water is then released as waste and about half of the half of the water is, is thrown away. The other half is the alkaline water. Now the alkaline water people claim that if you drink this, this can have all sorts of curative health effects. It can cure uh, cancer, diabetes, obesity, everything. All can be solved by making your body more alkaline. And the way you make your body more alkaline is by drinking alkaline water. Now, the most dangerous kind of lie is a lie mixed with some truth because it seems plausible to the discerning person because they know or they identify something in there and they go, ah, that's true, so the other things must be true. Unfortunately, a lot of people have fallen for this. It's a very effective uh, scam. So what's the part that's true? Okay, the part that's true is our bodies as a whole the pH is low it's acidic we have acidic bodies because we eat all this processed food okay it's it's not good for you and it's all acidic pretty much everything like all the options of the food are acidic so our bodies become acidic because hey you are what you eat and that does lead to health problems now making your body more alkaline or base, base alkaline same thing, can have uh, good effects, good healthy, make you more healthy, um, make you have a stronger body. But the problem is, the problem is, is when they say drinking alkaline water can make your body more alkaline. That's the part that's a lie. So, there, yes, there are, you should try and make your body more alkaline. And yes, you can do that. There are ways, but not drinking alkaline water. And it sounds like, like a nice idea. It's a good shortcut. Because if you do, if you put into your body very alkaline materials, then you can balance out and neutralize that acid, acidity. But hey, guess what that stuff is? And it's gonna be it's gonna be stuff that just makes sense to you. It's gonna be raw organic vegetables and it's gonna be legumes. So these food items are very uh, alkaline and they will cancel out the acidity in your body. But why won't alkaline water do it? So let's go back to this discussion of pH. So seven is neutral. Water is uh, can have a pH anywhere from let's say 6.5 to 8 okay so something with a pH 7 is neutral something with a pH 6 is acidic but it's just slightly acidic it's just a little bit acidic okay and so when we call when or and something with a pH of 8 is just a little bit alkaline okay so it's it's just a little more than seven or a little less than seven now if we have something with a pH of 10 it's very alkaline or or more or if we have something with a with a pH of 3 it's very acidic so obviously if we take something with a uh, pH of 3 and mix it with an equal amount of something with a pH of 11, it's going to neutralize to 7 because that's the, that's the middle. If we take something with a pH of 6 and take something with a pH of 8, again, and we do an equal measure, it's going to neutralize to 7 again. Now the problem comes when you take something with a pH of 3, for example, and mix it with something with a pH of, let's say, 9. Okay, so what would you expect to happen? Well, based on the other examples, 3 and 9, 
you'd expect them to neutralize, but not to 7, because that's not in the middle of 3 and 9, you'd expect them to neutralize to 6, right? Well, not necessarily. Because, look, how far is 9 from 7? It's only, it's 2. It's 2, two uh, points on the pH scale far. So that's not that alkaline. But how far is 3? from 7 is so it's much farther so when something is very far from neutral or farther from neutral its buffer goes up so we say something that's far from neutral is highly buffered that's the scientific term something that's closer to neutral even though it could be acidic or basic or uh, basic or alkaline uh, we would say that's low buffer there's a low buffer. So it takes more, it, so low buffer substances, when you try and use low buffer substances to neutralize high buffer substances, it, you need a lot. You need a um, huge amount of low buffer substances to, to neutralize a high buffer substance. That's why when you mix the 3 pH with the 9 pH you won't get 6 you'll get something more like maybe 4 let's say and um, you know these are just this, these numbers are not real numbers they're just to illustrate the point uh, so same thing on the other on the alkaline side if you have something with the alkaline uh, with a pH of 12 so it's very alkaline it's highly buffered and you mix it with something with a pH of 6 it's not gonna go in the middle and be uh, 9. It's going to be way closer to 12 because 12, the 12 substance is high buffer and the 6 substance is very low buffer. So now back to the alkaline water. Now no matter how much you make the alkaline water more and more alkaline with the, with the ionizer that these people are trying to sell you for thousands of dollars it's still water so it can only have a pH that goes so far it can only be like 8 or 8.5 it can't really be as much as raw organic vegetables or legumes somewhere like you know 10 11 12 it doesn't get that high because it's just water so it can only get so high now your body when you whenever you put something in your mouth and ingest it it goes to your stomach there's stomach acid in your stomach stomach acid is quite acidic it has a pH I believe of around 2 or something like that so therefore you're mixing something that's a low buffer with something that's a high buffer acid you're mixing a low al low buffer alkaline with a high buffer acid so the effect, the neutralization effect is not going to be high and you're still going to end up with something uh, acidic. So that's basically in a nutshell why alkaline doesn't, water doesn't work. And you can do your own research. Uh, you don't need to take my word on that, but uh, I did put in the time uh, to, to do this uh, for money for somebody. So I'm not going to give you all the resources and links because that would probably be a violation of our of the research agreement I, I made with this person um, but basically I just wanted to tell everybody that so um, you guys can have knowledge and understanding and avoid the mistakes of others uh, God bless you all Bilderberger Eater out